Hi, my name is Kevin, and I love my kids, but I need them to stop asking me about death because I'm not handling it. <laughs> I will fight both Paul brothers and beat them. <laughs> I'm not afraid of anybody. Twelve-year-olds, get, get out, out of, here. of the playground. Get out of here. Go, go get cigarettes and go do yeah. it in the park. <laughs> And my daughter goes, you all right, Dad? Oh, that yeah. was a really heavy sign. <laughs> and I was like, well, you shouldn't be clocking those. He points at his crib. He hates us. He's like, get me in the bed. I don't want to tell you. <laughs> <laughs> Snacks. Snacks. Fuck them. Hey, folks. Welcome to I Love My Kid, the parent-friendly podcast that doesn't hate kids, no matter what oh. you've heard. Just ourselves. No ma- <laughs> More of that. More of that. I'm here with my fantastic co-hosts, Chris Garcia and Megan Gailey. Hi, guys. Hi. Hi. We're very excited today because we have the fantastic guys from the Dumb Dads podcast. We were on that podcast recently, weren't yes. we? Yeah, it was fun. It was a very good time. And uh, we're going to be talking about making time for your significant other, for your spouse, for your person, for your partner. Ooh, okay. Um, <laughs> as we all sit here today, we're all married folks. Um, I would say temperature check on my marriage. <laughs> temperature check on Megan's marriage. Temperature check me, on my marriage. Oh, hold on, d- let me get a parka. I'll be right back. <laughs> let me put on this parka real quick. Temperature <laughs> check on my marriage as we sit here today. Yes. I wouldn't say great. Uh-oh. Oh. I wouldn't say great. I think by the time this comes out, it'll be better. We'll be better, and yeah. that's like it's like this. It's no, like it's this. Totally, it's such an ocean. It's like it ends up. I go to therapy every other week, okay. and she'll always be like, you know, if we're sort of searching, she'll be like, "How's CJ?" And I'll either be like, "We're great," or I'll be like, "I don't know if this is gonna work." You know, like it really. <laughs> and I'm like, that, I I remember thinking like she must be so annoyed with yeah. like the. True swings. And I'm like, I think that actually may just sort of be marriage, especially uh-huh. marriage while you have a young child. I, I think so as well. Yeah. Yeah. We go, we do couples therapy every week um, just for like, because we also work together and everything yeah. like that. And we're just together. Uh, uh, except for when I'm here. We are together <laughs> 24 hours a day, all the time. And when I'm here, Lauren's just like, have fun at the office. <laughs> just like a big smile on her yeah. face. Why um, don't you record three episodes today? <laughs> I know you guys usually do two. Two or three. Yeah, well, people will be like, so um, does CJ work from home? I'm like, no, he goes into an office. And they're like, oh, that stinks. I'm like, oh, he chooses to. Um, oh, yeah. He fully could work from home. <laughs> and he leaves our home every day. At the crack of dawn and returns at night. <laughs> no one is requiring him to do that except for my personality. <laughs> He's renting a really nice office building just to get away from it's you. A gorgeous. It's a really, it's really beautiful. Really nice. When you guys had that party there, I was like, what is this? Yeah. They're like, it's CJ's office place. I was like, what the fuck does CJ do? <laughs> Hide from Megan. And you need something nice to do that. <laughs> So to start it all off, we're going to do circle time about this. And uh, I think, Chris, you have a little story about this? Yeah, it's it's about, like, making time with your spouse. Like, mostly, like, fun time. Yeah. It feels like. You fun know. times. Exactly. It's really, it's like, because the hard times are already baked in. <laughs> those, yeah, yeah, those, you don't need to schedule. <laughs> yeah, those are just never ending. Uh, it's just tough all the time. And you, like, before we were married, we were, like... A couple that yeah. had fun. Yeah. And like had sex. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And you know, we still have sex, but it's like it it's changes. Give us the numbers. How often? No, no. <laughs> I want everybody on the count of three to say how often they have sex. <laughs> it is scheduled. It's like now it's, it's more scheduled. It's than more before. scheduled. It yeah. used to be like, wow. I don't know. What about now? We're in an elevator. Might as well, you know? <laughs> We're in an elevator at the pediatrician's. <laughs> Probably shouldn't. <laughs> but uh, it, it, it just changes a little bit. 100%. And like intimate times change a little bit. Like yeah. I remember after, um, you know, Sonny was born, it's just like, oh, this is different now. I'm like, stuff like that changes. Uh-huh. And so, but you still try to make time, you make time for it and you, and you try your best to, uh, you know, keep it going, you yeah. know? And, uh, so a couple of weeks ago we, uh, had a babysitter and we had plans that night with some friends and those friends canceled on us. And so we were like, I don't know, we're kind of tired. Why don't we just cancel the sitter mm-hmm. and just stay in, uh, we text the sitter, uh, five o'clock sitter comes over. 
she did not get the text and just came over and knocked oh. on the door. Do people not get texts? Because I, I use that as an excuse, but oh, I usually I have gotten the text. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> She could have ignored it and been like, whatever. Or I'm could getting, have not seen I'm it. Yeah, like, yeah. But like, I didn't get the text. Is like, I don't know if that, yeah. I don't know if the cloud cosigns I feel like that. We, I feel like we figured out texting. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> she seems like she used a Thomas guide to figure out to get to her house. <laughs> right. Like, okay. I'm not exactly sure. Yeah. And then but, like the phone is in a bag got, somewhere. <laughs> she's like, what? She on doesn't the, need on to the be the on her phone. <laughs> and then it's just like a rummaging for 15 minutes yeah, through a yeah. bag and be like, oh, I do see. Oh, wow. I've got a lot of things going yeah. on. She has a healthier relationship with technology than I do. Because it's like, I'm not missing any text. <laughs> um, so she comes over and we're like, um, well, well, we actually canceled. But um, you should. OK, well, uh, why don't you hang out with Sunny for a couple hours? Yeah. And uh, yeah, we'll uh, we'll just hang out. And uh, we've been wanting to do some stuff around the house and to spring clean this big closet that we have that's a mess. And we're like, okay, maybe we could just do yeah. that. And so um, our babysitter's playing with Sunny, and Val and I go into our bedroom, and then we're kind of like, wow, babysitter's here. And Val's like, should we, uh, you know, do it? Wow. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, uh, say no more. You know, I was just like, all right. Oh, you weren't like, I wanted to clean the closet. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Wait, honey, I thought we were doing spring cleaning. <laughs> but I was like, well, let's go for it. And then we just, we like. <laughs> you sound like Scooby-Doo. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, we like both have this like pep in our step. And we're like, oh, wow. Yeah. Like, it's like very exciting. And uh, I'm like, okay, well, um, I, I'll go brush my teeth and uh, <laughs> that whole thing. Okay. Like, Nice, nice. I'm busting out the scope. I haven't used this in a little while. Wow. You know, it was like that. And I did that, and I was like, well, I'm going to, I should probably give myself a little bird bath. Uh, and, uh, <laughs> No, what? What? When you say a little bird bath, I imagine it's just sink. (laughs) It's It's nude sink, (laughs) just splashing. I'm splashing. This is like so kind of you. This is like second date. I know. Well, that's how it felt like. It felt like it felt like back in the day. She's like, my roommate just left, and we're like, let's go for it. Yeah, it felt like that. Was Val slipping into something more comfortable? I uh, I don't think she so. She was just waiting. She was just waiting. <laughs> I do think that there's I think in oftentimes in relationships there's one person who like immediately uses the bathroom before sex yeah. and like cleans up and the other person is just like let's go. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Though I think the women are usually the let's go. <laughs> <laughs> the women like, are the let's go? Yeah, because we're like, our bodies are a gift to you no matter what state they're in, you know? The, 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 and also, I've brushed my teeth. You know, like, I, CJ forgets to brush his teeth a lot. Yeah. So it, like, makes sense that he'd be like, oh, let me go brush my teeth. And it's like, well, I've already brushed my teeth today. <laughs> and he's like, hey, that slipped my mind. Uh, but, yeah, so I was like, brush my, I get, it was cl- you know, cleaning up, and then Sunny bolts into our room. Oh. And behind her, which I think is kind of weird that the babysitter would just kind of like chase in behind her. Because you were like, we're going to clean the closet, (laughs) winky, winky, winky. You know. (laughs) It's a walk-in. It might take a while, you know. Um, No, uh, so then, uh, so I'm just like with, cup. I'm just like (gasps) splashing my stuff uh, and uh, oh, so it is a bird bath on the sink. You're yeah. doing sink style. Did you okay. think I was I don't know. I was do it in a little fountain in a courtyard. I thought or... you meant you were gonna hop in the shower. No, pal. a bird bath. Oh, we no. call it a whores bath too. <laughs> <laughs> you get your, you get your parts all situated. <laughs> Pits, parts, you're good to go. Yeah, that's what I was just doing. Uh, just a real, you know, <laughs> splash it. As if there's that was going to be enough. But anyway, uh, and then uh, the lady, uh, she chases in after Sunny, and the door is ajar, but not the whole thing. But I just like, ah! and I just like hide my my balls and stuff. And uh, that was the end of it. That was, that just, was the end of that it. That was the end Aww. of it. That so was... when, they, when Sunny and the babysitter left the room, you, the moment had passed. Yeah, we were kind of like, well, that was, we played with that fire. That could have happened. That could that have happened. Could happen. That was bad. Yeah, and then it was, it was fine. We, so then you just clean the closet. <laughs> then we just clean the closet. I was like, let me finish cleaning my body parts. Um, <laughs> Chris jerked then... off in the closet. <laughs> <laughs> so tragic. But yeah, that was kind of the end of it. And it was a little, 
It was a little frustrating. It, it was felt naughty, and that was yes. fun. You know, that yeah. little feeling of that mm-hmm. naughty. Which is hard to get. Yeah, 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 we back. got that. Yeah. And that, you know, yeah. we do the other stuff uh, other times, but that naughty yeah, yeah. feeling of like, well, I don't know, should we just do it? Or... Yeah. And also a feeling of like, oh, we, we, we don't have a plan? And like, and spon- spontaneity, yeah. which I think spontaneity is like the toughest part. Because it's like, now if you want to go out, it's like, well, we got to get a babysitter. We got to get, it's like all the things. And then it's like to get out the door is so stressful. And then there's like a full 40 minutes of like decompression from the stress of getting out the door before yeah. you start enjoying your night. And then you're like, and then you've had like a couple, then you come home and you're full and you've yeah. full of wine and you're like, we're not having sex. Sleepy time. Yeah. Sleepy time. Sometimes yeah. we'll try to sneak one in during a nap time, right? Uh-huh. During Sunny's nap. And, but they, it feels scheduled. Mm-hmm. And then the monitor's right there. So, uh-huh. And that's like, yeah. it's not that sex. And it's yeah. like noon on a Saturday, which <laughs> yeah, isn't yeah, like, yeah. you know, not yeah. really sexy. <laughs> I will say having been a nanny, when the parents are home, I'm like, please get out of here. <laughs> like, oh, yeah. It's so yeah. I I nannied um, for a child I loved so much. And there was like six months where the dad was home every single day. And he would go into the room, into his room. And I would be out with the child. And I would hear him turn on the TV and watch the affair at full volume. <laughs> <laughs> what? And I was like, oh, what's he doing in there? <laughs> The first season of The Affair is great sexy. TV. It's sexy, sexy and it's fantastic. It goes off the rail hard oh, after yeah, yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, but yeah. But like even just like hearing that theme music, I'm yeah. like, oh, he's not in there like watching sports. Like he is watching a sex oh. show <laughs> while I am playing with his toddler. <laughs> we did do, I remember it was like, uh, it wasn't, it must have been like, it was post vax vaccination, but still like everybody was pretty much like you're just kind of like inside most of the time, and we had a babysitter who we had like had vetted and everything, and uh, and we just hadn't had time to do anything because mm-hmm. it's just like we're locked inside, and so what I remember we did is we have a very small backyard. Our backyard is um, I don't I I think it's maybe eight feet by 20 feet (laughs) like that's our backyard it's very tiny and we were like we're gonna have the babysitter come over and then we're just gonna go in the backyard (laughs) and we're just gonna have like we're gonna get champagne and like and fruit and then just like (laughs) Like pretty woman (laughs) (laughs) Richard Gere over here All right. (laughs) and then we had like strawberries and champagne and then we're in the backyard just eating strawberries and having champagne and then no sex because it was just like the, the ba- backyard. Ba- it's the backyard. <laughs> and just like reading books. And it was like, this is fun. Wow, this is cool. And then after like a glass or two of champagne, it's just like, this is sad. This isn't fun. <laughs> and then it was just like, I oh, always said the babysitter home, but it was over. And it was just like, we, it, it's so hard. It's yeah, so it's hard. Tough. We'll go to the movies. That's like if there's nothing to do and we yeah. have a sitter, it's like, let's go to the movies. But like, I want to go to the movie theater where I can like fully recline and they bring me a glass of wine and yeah. a tray of nachos. And food. Yeah. Oh, it's so yeah. good. I and love it. And you're like, well, I spent $8,000. <laughs> so <laughs> much money. But that's, so it's like, we're not having sex. We're eating pretzel bites. <laughs> right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's the new sex. Yeah. Pretzel bites. The mm. new sex. And if they're not using that tagline, they should be. <laughs> well, I'm excited to see if the dumb dads are making time. Let's see how often they're having sex. Yeah. (laughs) And let's put them on the spot about it. Absolutely. (laughs) We'll be right back with the dumb dance. Okay, you heard today's guest at the top of the show. Uh, they host a very, very funny podcast called The Dumb Dads Podcast, which we were on uh, very recently. Mm-hmm. Yeah. We had a very good time. Um, so they, they are as close as uh, to experts as we will have on <laughs> oh, this show. Oh, I think um, you've, no, we've already made a mistake. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and of course, they're also uh, stand-up comedians as well. Uh, please, a welcome to the show, the wonderful 
Kevin Laferriere and Evan Berger. <laughs> wow. Oh, thank you. We'll take those. Wow. We'll take those. Yeah. That was very fancy. Yeah. I know that's the way you say it around the house, so that's how I had to do it for you. <laughs> uh-huh. mm-hmm. um, you are both married to gals, ladies. Yes. yes. Um, yes. Did they help name the podcast, Dumb Dads? <laughs> No, it was kind of, it started as an inside joke between all of us when we became dads. And then just like, you know, you become a parent and then you have that instantaneous perspective of like who you are as a person, who your parents were to you and all Mm -hmm. these things. And then we would always reference the dads we used to see on television that were like uninvolved, couldn't be trusted to like... Mm -hmm make lunch do anything mm-hmm. right mm-hmm. and we always say like man those are dumb dads that joke is kind of old so let's kind of turn it on its head and make fun of those kinds of dads even though we know we're gonna screw a bunch of stuff up so that's they certainly of... didn't uh debate the name <laughs> yeah, yeah exactly <laughs> they were just kind of like oh, yeah okay yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah that fits it's it's funny that you um bring up those men on sitcoms because they were the stars of the show they yeah. were just yeah. totally incompetent losers yeah. yes um and their wives were somehow the bad guys i love that yeah that was al, fun al bundy, <laughs> al bundy watch one did now. nothing he had a hot wife and he was like you're gross stay <laughs> away from yeah. me i know <laughs> right then, she was a babe, and he's like, Ugh. she Sex married with her. Steven Seagal. <laughs> <laughs> That's how hot she was. <laughs> yeah, every 90s sitcom could have been called Calm Down. <laughs> <laughs> um, give us your kids' um, ages. Uh, eight and four. Um, seven and four. Seven and four. Okay. All right. So they all, they all get, you guys can have play dates together. Yes. Do you ever just let them loose while you're recording the pod? No, but <laughs> close enough. Seems like the instinct is there. We we go live um, on social media, and that is a lot of times people comment going, "Is there anyone watching the kids?" Yeah. Because sometimes like they come up against the door like zombies a couple times, <laughs> and, like slamming, and the moms are there. They are helping and watching the kids, but it does get pretty dicey sometimes. Yeah. That slamming into doors when you're behind the door is the weirdest thing. Yeah. It's just like duh, 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 duh. <laughs> duh, it just sounds terrifying. Are you <laughs> okay? The finger, the finger is underneath. Yeah, the you. finger's like, under. <laughs> I'm in the bathroom. <laughs> Um, and so we were talking earlier at the top of the show about, you know, finding time for your spouse, mm-hmm, um, mm-hmm. be it sexy times or uh, just a connection. Looking them in the eye. <laughs> Looking them in the <laughs> eye. Remembering their name. Yeah. Um, and you guys both have two kids, which is a super overwhelming. How do you guys do it? How do you do it? Oh, my gosh. We don't. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> there it is. And that feels like uh, the most honest answer I can give you is that, like, we live in a pretty small little space. Both our kids share rooms. Like, our living room is, like, also our office. And, like, everything yeah. is so tight. And so the little moments that my wife and I make for each other is, like, when they're at school and it's, like, we just, like, talk un- uninterrupted for, yeah. <laughs> you know, a little bit of time. feels great. Sometimes it's like give them in a in the car. Sometimes it's not a bad time to have a good conversation when it's like, yeah, bring the iPads, whatever you guys want to do. Just we need like a privacy curtain in the car. Mm-hmm. Like we're first class and you guys are right. <laughs> That's what yeah. it feels like sometimes. It's like we'll take whatever moment we can get. Yeah. And I the 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 that the car thing, I honestly was thinking for a while it was like a privacy curtain just because if they're back there they're just like doing shit yeah you know and then it was it was like two weeks ago Lauren and I were like in the middle of like a a kind of a big conversation Mm -hmm. and then just from the back and be like what do you mean by that (laughs) yeah it's just like (laughs) that's exactly right that's Alex exactly tracking right. what we're talking about. Yeah. yeah. Well, well, what do you mean? What is that supposed to mean? It's like it means nothing to you. You're not <laughs> yeah. involved in this conversation in any way. Kids are keep nosy. looking out the window. They're yeah. nosy. My daughter has now gotten to the point where she can do basically the the two things at once, where she like can either be on the iPad or playing like the Nintendo Switch, and. One time we were listening to this very podcast oh. on the way to my parents, and, and it's just like, I can hear her playing, and then we're listening to the podcast, and I just hear her go like, 
Is fuck a bad word? No! <laughs> <laughs> That's probably me. That was probably it me. It depends on, on how you use Trust it. Trust us, it's not the first time she's heard it. <laughs> yeah. It was not the podcast. Well, and like, I'm nosy, and so whenever he, like, on planes, he just stands up and stares at everyone behind him, mm-hmm. which is also what I want to do. Oh, and yeah. so then yeah. I'll, like, turn with him and be like, don't look at that. And I'm scanning, being like, they're yeah. a bad person, they're a piece of shit. Yeah. Like, yeah. Like, yeah. I'm like, he's nosy. He's He's nosy, and so it's my mouth. Sorry about him. <laughs> yeah. One last good glance. <laughs> It'll be really funny if you did. You just kind of like your eyes pick up. Like, what are you looking at? What are these? <laughs> what are these pieces of shit doing? <laughs> yeah. Conrad, give me the demo. What's behind us? Yeah. <laughs> See anybody sketchy back there? <laughs> Point him out. Now's the time. Do you do you end up um, trying to have spontaneous time with your wives? Scheduled date night? I feel like whenever some when a couple starts therapy, you can always tell because they're like, "Hey, I can't hang out. I'm going on a date with my husband," and it's like someone is forced <laughs> you to do that. <laughs> it sounds like that was required yeah. by a judge. Um, we've never, uh, we don't schedule. That's insane. Um, <laughs> yeah. I, can't, I, don't, I don't even know what that means. <laughs> I, don't know what I'm, I don't know what's happening after this. Um, but like, yeah, we'll just like that day be like, should we you know, date night tonight? And yeah. So then we kind of like figure it out. Uh, but it's always like if I'm making the dinner, then it's, she's taking care of the kids and I'm ruining the kitchen. <laughs> you know? <Yeah. laughs> and that's date so that's, night? Uh, that's more work to be done. Well, then you switch it to like getting takeout and then that'll be date night. It's like after the kids go to bed, mm-hmm. oh. we sit down and then like we have our dinner after them. Mm-hmm. So we feed them and then do all the bedtime stuff and we should have a late dinner. But even that is like... It's exhausting. Once them they, coming out. It's yeah. Exhausting. <laughs> And once they're asleep, once you get them down, mm-hmm. you're just like, I need a full like 45 minutes of like not talking to anyone. Yeah. And just like <laughs> yeah, to, before I can be that's... like, okay, what are we going to do? We're going to do something now? Well, mm-hmm. Fuck that. No. <laughs> Sunny, Sunny took such a long time to put down yesterday and we finally put her down and I went to, I, I went and took a shower and like got dressed and I was like just organized some stuff in the room and I came back into the living room and Val was just staring into nothingness. <laughs> like she was just still like couldn't watch TV. She was just like, she needed that time to decompress. Yeah. Yeah. It's like that alone time to just be like, yeah, boy. And then after that, you know, went to bed. You're just watching, <laughs> you're just watching the computer reboot itself. Yeah. It's just, yeah. bong. Okay, now it's for dinner. Yeah. Uh, yeah, we, we were doing, like during the pandemic, everything was just so, such on hard repeat, yeah. refresh, mm. repeat mode that we were doing like, okay, Saturday's date night. And it was usually just takeout, mm. gets takeout, put on some show we don't care about that we can make fun of while we eat our takeout. And that was great date night because it was just like, look forward to that unwind from whatever it was. And we've completely fallen out of that. Now it's the same thing. It's just like, we'll take what we can get. Sometimes it's like date night tonight. Sure. Mm-hmm. But most nights is like putting them down, coming out of the bedroom going, I mean, honestly, I'm kind of just checked out right now anyway. I think I'm just going to go to bed. I mean, that happens a lot, too. The worst part is when you finally make a date to actually go out. You get a babysitter Mm -hmm. and you go out. And then right at the end of the night, you get into a fight. Yes, that's 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 the only time you have to do it, though. To to have like a discussion. You repurpose date night into fight night. Where it's like, listen, because when you're in it together and you're like having a night, you're not going to have a fight at a park with your child while there's other people around yeah. oof we came home from my like, guest technically what was a date night and like I kind of got into it with CJ in front of our nanny oh, no. and like oh. she wanted to leave so badly but she was doing, oh, yeah. she was yeah. doing yeah. laundry at our house uh, and like her clothes oh, no, weren't her dry yet oh, my gosh. and so then she came back in and I like happened to touch something on the hamper and it was still fully wet but she was like I gotta get out of here you know like <laughs> oh, she took God. wet clothes out to be like I need to leave this home there's like water trailing all the way to the front door. <laughs> I, I end up we we get in a we get into a fight almost every date night because I'm like, well, this is when this I is have our time. time. This is our time. <laughs> it's not good. <laughs> not good. Um, so now you're scheduling the fight within the date night. <laughs> yeah, yeah, so yeah. Should we start it with that? Should we start it? No. Or and and like I've usually had like two glasses of wine, which is when I get real revved oh, up. Like Megan, put two up. glasses of wine. Let's be honest. <laughs> <laughs> two before you leave the fucking house. I'm like, you give me three cocktails, I will fight both Paul brothers and beat them. I'm not afraid of anybody. <laughs> 
<laughs> oh, so we have this thing called the struggle wand. It's right here. We found it in the trash. And uh, it is, uh, you hold it. You tell us something you've been struggling with uh, in parenting right now. Ooh. <laughs> oh, Evan's in. Evan's in. Um, I'm going to start. I constantly struggle with going from my children being in like babies and then they were like toddlers and then they were like in preschool and now it's time to be an adult. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and I talk, especially to my son, who's he's the eight-year-old, I'm like, I talk to him like, come on, man. <laughs> Level we're up. We're adults now. And like, you know, and my wife will be like, he's eight. <laughs> and I'll be like, I told him like three times yesterday. She's like, yep, that was yesterday. And he's eight. And so today is today. Like, what are you talking about? Yeah. I'm, so, I'm like... I ex- feel like I expect so much out of him mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. that I um, I am checking myself and my wife is additionally constantly checking me with like, <laughs> let's just lower some of the expectations for a second. I so, think yeah. I'm with you. I-, I think it's very underrated how difficult like six to 15 is Mm -hmm. because it's like yes they do they have the ability to communicate they have the and I'm I don't even my child's a toddler like (laughs) you see it coming but it's like my niece no you just like you they can communicate they have skills they're able but they don't have their frontal lobe they've got like a decade and a half until that force I understand like he's weighing his opinion and knowledge against almost nothing (laughs) (laughs) and I'm compartmentalizing the rest of the shit that we have to focus on as adults, compartmentalizing that against, like, what he's maybe thinking or dealing with, I understand. Mm -hmm. I feel that, like, you know, he's trying his best, but it's like, I just, I go right to the, can we just level with each other and you should be expected to do this? And she's like, no, he shouldn't. (laughs) What are you talking about? (laughs) Yeah, my buddy had that happen where you forget that they're still essentially little animals. Um, It was like, his son was eight or nine and was, like, complaining of stomach pains. And he was just like, and he asked him, like, have you drank water and everything? And he's just like, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then, so then finally, it got so bad, they went to the the ER. Yeah. And the doctor was like, here's an ice pop. And they had three ice pops, and he was fine. It, he, he hadn't drank any water in, like, a day and a half. And <laughs> my, my friend my had, like, been giving him water, like, putting it out, asking him to drink water. And he's just like, oh, right, okay. So I can't trust them to even drink water. Yeah. When you said, have you drink water, I laughed. Because it's like, what an idiot. You yeah. know? Oh, but yeah. yeah. Eight cups today. It was dehydration. It and was the fact that the doctor was like, we see this all the time. Yeah. Yeah, he's just gave him some water. ice pops. <laughs> Class of ice pops. Um, <sighs> all right, next? Kevin. Le Fariel. Um <laughs> I feel like I should be wearing an ascot. Um, <laughs> I am struggling with, and I always have been, uh, bedtime. Yeah, it's baby. so hard, and it's like... When you're a little kid and you have to go to the bathroom, or even when you're an adult, and the bathroom gets closer, it gets harder Mm -hmm. to hold it. (laughs) That's like what bedtime is for me. Like, I'm almost free of them. (laughs) And (laughs) it gets that much harder. And, like, similar to what you're saying about them growing up, like, I'm annoyed that they don't want to sleep. I'm like, it's the best thing you can do in life is not be conscious. Yeah. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) It's it's, especially that... 15 minutes right before they finally go to sleep. Yeah. That's the toughest. It's like mm-hmm. it's been taking like it takes like 45 minutes to an hour sometimes to get Sunny down. Yeah. And it's like, Ooh, okay, we'll oh read God. the books, we'll sing the songs, I'll sing ABCs like 40 times. And I'll be like, this is the last time. <laughs> then she's like, I want grapes. And you're like, sure, here's some grapes. I want to. And she's like, and then she's like, can we cuddle a little bit? Yeah. And I'm like, all right, we can cuddle a little bit. She's mm-hmm. completely played us. And in those last 15 minutes, we have her in the crib we're rubbing her back she's she wants another stuffy and, and you and like i love her and i want her to be comfortable mm-hmm. but at that point it's like maddening i know we're a no advice podcast but i did read something at some point that was like it's really great to ask your kid how their day was right before bed oh you because get all the secrets they don't That's when they because they don't ever like it's like how was school and they're like well you know, like, well, I don't they, know. you know, they don't. Yes. Exactly. Did you yeah. learn anything? Mm-hmm. No. But it's like before bed, they probably have more of an inclination to talk because they don't want to go to bed. Right. Yeah. 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 Gus has a new thing where or what I ask him. So I always say like, uh, what's one thing you learned today? Or like, right? what's one, wh- who's one person you played with who's today? Who's a new enemy you made today? Yeah. <laughs> and he just goes, I don't want to tell you. <laughs> 
and I and I've still never got to the bottom of it. I'll be wow. like, why don't you want to tell me? He goes, I don't want to tell you. <laughs> Say it in a slight accent. He loves it. So he nefarious. It's very funny. So nefarious. It's so nefarious. Do you laugh every time? I know because it's so annoying at this point. Because <laughs> I, I just want to know one thing that he did. Yeah. You know, I'm like almost afraid to ask this. My son is 18 months. He points at his crib. He hates us. He's like, get me in the bed. Like he, He's like, I'm not a second longer of you, yeah. mom. Um, when when does it start being, because Sonny's a year older. When, when, when is my life going to turn into just hating bedtime? Oh, um, you're pretty close. All right. When yeah, they, when they, when they know, can get out of bed. Yeah, when, when there's no crib. Mm-hmm. When they can wander out of their room. Mm-hmm. That's what I was going to say too. Right? Speak, going back to like making time for yourselves when it's like tonight's the night. We're going to, <laughs> they're in bed, you know, kind of locking Two the door the between, <laughs> yeah, between me and my wife. And it's like, I'm having scary dreams. Like, okay. <laughs> okay, that's fine. You're allowed to have scary dreams. You just ruined the next 45 minutes of my life. But... Not on third Wednesdays. Yeah. <laughs> and there's also that thing which you, where you're talking about of like, you expect them to be an adult, which is also a weird thing too, because when they are very adult-like, which starts happening around six, you're yeah. all of a sudden like, oh, it's over. You know, it's like that thing of like, oh, n- oh, it was just that little part. She's not your little baby anymore. Yeah, and then no. she like Aww. will revert immediately, and then she is my little baby. But yeah. like, you see it like that. Oh, it's right there. It happens so very quickly. Yeah. And it goes bink, Ugh. and they're just like mm-hmm. they're uh, you know middle schoolers all of a sudden. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We want them to grow up because it's it it's ideally easier because they'll <laughs> yeah. just do what they're the supposed thing. to do. But then, yeah, I had a similar one where I was in the car, and I just, <laughs> I'm just tired all the time, and I just <laughs> sighed, and, I just, <sighs> and my daughter goes, "You're right, Dad." Oh, that yeah. was a really heavy sigh. <laughs> and I was like, well, "You should be clocking those." <laughs> I saw something online recently because my wife always asks me, like, I, I sigh. I'll just uh, ah. this is every and man like, sighs, and yes. we take it as a personal assault yes. on who Lord, we are. Yeah, yeah. yeah. The, the, no. the thing it was like some things you just need to know where it's just like. When I sometimes when I sigh, it's just because I forgot to breathe. <laughs> yeah, no, my seventy-year-old dad retired, not a care in the world, minus you know health issues and declining economy, and he'll sigh, and we're like, "What?" And he's like, "I, I breathe hard." <laughs> like it really is just. Lauren, I will always be like, "What are you doing?" I'm like, "Nothing. I'm breathing. Leave What's me on your alone." Mind? No, we it's take on it your as mind. a slight. We take it as a slight. It's how we're wired. It's how you're sighing. We're upset. It's just <laughs> the yin and the yang. Well, uh, speaking of being upset, we <laughs> like to do something called timeouts here. Uh, where we take something we don't like about parenting, put it in a timeout. We'll go first, then you guys are up. I can go first. Oh, Megan's got some hot ones. Nice. Um, yeah, I just nice came shot. back from um, being with my parents and my child, um, mostly just that core for three weeks. Oh. Wow. And okay. then we introduced my brothers. Do you want the whole segment? <laughs> no. I, <laughs> then we introduced my brothers, all of their children, and my husband came a little delayed. Um, so I would like to put the uh, following conversation I had with my four-year-old niece on timeout, um, who's my, you know, she's the youngest, so she's my favorite right now. You know, yeah. like that's, yeah. but now she's not. Um, she <laughs> said, Aunt Maggie, do you have a baby in your tummy? And, and, Uh-oh. and I said, no. And then she said, then why is your tummy so big? <laughs> and this is as I was laying next to her in a bathing suit. Oh. Mm-hmm. And then my brother just goes, yeah, she's a bitch. Uh, <laughs> and then I got a double, the yeah, I got a double <laughs> strawberry daiquiri and said, it's about to get bigger. Uh, Chris? Uh, I'm going to put uh, kids that are above the age limit at the play at the like the mm. play set. Yes. At the playground. Yes, yes. Uh, oh. I'm going to put those kids because usually there's maybe at our park that we go to the most. There's there's two play. There's a playground with two play sets, 
and one's for uh, like two to five year olds, mm-hmm. other ones for like six to ten year olds. Mm-hmm. And we were at the park the other day, and there was probably there's like a couple, maybe twelve year olds. Twelve year olds, get, get out, out of, of the playground, get out of here, go, go get cigarettes and go do yeah. it in the park. I'll <laughs> buy them for you. That's what you did. I'll buy them. <laughs> and then Val runs into these coworkers that she's uh, never met in person, only knows virtually at the park. I'm like, oh my gosh! So we start catching up, and I introduce myself, and I look across. The playset and Sunny's at the top of this like a uh, bridge, mm-hmm. this tall bridge that connects uh, two parts of the playset, and she's just kind of standing there holding on to the uh, little rope railing of the bridge, and underneath is this the twelve year old like this twelve year old boy, uh, and he's just like right under her, and I think he's like communicating with her. It was like he was she was looking at him, and he was like trying to like gesture to her yes. to like mm-hmm. go down the big slide. No. And I went from fucking zero to <laughs> LAPD. Really? I just like walked over. I like I walked over. I said, hey, pal. <laughs> like, like, I just don't say stuff. I go, how's it going, bud? And he's like, oh, I'm just here with my sister. I'm like, how old are you? He's like, okay, I gotta go. And he just like walked away and I was like, that's right. And it was like, get out of here. What are you doing? Get, go, go play somewhere else. Yeah, keep you know? walking, pal. Keep walking, pal. <laughs> um, I'm going to put in time out um, a new thing Olive likes to do. It's not a new thing. Just She's always liked it. She invites children over to our house <laughs> in front of their parents yeah. when we're in front of our own house. <laughs> and uh, and then so it, it makes me have to go like, no, even mm-hmm. though like the house is right there. It's like, I got shit. I got stuff yeah. to do. Yeah. We're not. This isn't a planned out thing, you know, <laughs> but like Olive will be like, come on over. Come on in. We're going to go right now. And then we just happen to have some like parents who are just like. Oh, okay. And it's like, no, 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 no. No, no, don't. You don't say okay. You say to your child, oh, you know, that that's not Olive doesn't get to actually invite right. people over Yeah, Olive doesn't own that home. <laughs> um, all right, guys. Oh, you're up. Uh, I'm going to put in time out. Speaking of snacks, snacks after school. <laughs> because my kids... I send them to school with lunch, and apparently LAUSD gives them breakfast, whether they've had it or not, and lunch. Yes. But they come home like they haven't eaten Mm -hmm. in a year. (laughs) It's every dad, can I have a pouch? Yeah, you can have a pouch. Can I have a a banana? Can I have a bowl of cereal? Can I have gummies? Can I? It it just doesn't stop for like two hours. Yeah. And then dinner comes, and I'm. And then they're not hungry. hungry. And then they're not hungry at dinner. (laughs) And then they're hungry at bedtime. (laughs) Yep. Snacks. Snacks. Fuck them. Uh, I would like to put uh, elementary school homework in a oh, permanent yeah. timeout. Why is well, why does it exist? You know what? Great All question. Homework. Let's All call homework. somebody. All homework. Let's be done. I think what I'm going to do when my child gets to school is go. We will not be doing any homework. I know that's <laughs> we not talked to somebody who said that. She was like up front until the teacher like, look, it's a point of contention in our house. Yep. You just tell me what you really think we're going to need to do because it's not going to be all of it. Yep. Yeah. She's like first part of the. Year I tell the teacher that, and uh, I mean this year I will say a little bit better in our household. We've kind of figured out how to like motivate the kids to get going on it. Mm-hmm. But I mean it's just like, what are we doing here? Yeah, we eight and five, and they're coming you home. You have like, a job. You cannot yes. also re- be relearning cursive. I know. For what I know. End. <laughs> because you have to sit. You you have to sit there while they do it. I mean yes. it's not like you'd be like great. Do you do homework? I'm going to go work on my stuff and we'll kind of reconvene Ugh. for playtime. No, it's like I they get snacks, also gets yeah. mixed in. And it's like, I mean, getting distracted, questions. Sometimes that's a great time to tell you about the day because that means I'm not doing homework. That means I'm talking about my day. It's like <laughs> yeah. two sheets of homework. Doesn't seem like a lot, but that takes 90 minutes because yeah. of the avoiding doing it part of it. Yeah, I agree. Our, I'm just so excited because we've just started going to a new um, elementary school. Uh, and their whole thing is there's no homework. Good. Uh, except for reading. And it's like, whatever you want to read. Where yeah. is it? Send me the link. I need the yeah. name. Yeah. Well. <laughs> it's a good you know one. It's, a, it's, it's public. I heard about a school like this. My niece and nephew went to a school and it was like during... It was like right after COVID, they were like, we feel like kids had to do enough work at home yeah. that we're not going to do that. And then I was with them this week and I'm like, so you don't have homework anymore. And they were like, no, that ended. I'm like, no, 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 no. You can't take away homework and get homework back. <laughs> that, that ended. It's so stupid. Oh, wow. Well, 
thank you guys so much for being on the show. Yeah, thanks for having, thank you for having us. Um, and what would you like to plug? Well, we have the Dumb Dad Podcast on yep. all platforms, and we are at the Dumb Dads on TikTok, uh, Threads, <laughs> Instagram, YouTube, or the Dumb yeah. Dads everywhere. The yeah. press conferences are so funny. Thank you. Thank um, you. And really resonate. Thank you. Oh, thank you. That's our much. goal is to turn the insanity of parenting into a little bit of a lighter subject yeah. because otherwise it's overwhelming and you lay awake at night wondering <laughs> if you're doing it all wrong. <laughs> <sighs> I, I need that wand again. <laughs> <laughs> Kevin and Evan. Kevin and Evan. I call them Evan and Kevin. I go alphabetical. I go alphabetical here. And you know what? Having podcasted with them a second time, they don't seem that dumb. Yeah. Yeah, They They seem relatively smart. (laughs) Yeah. Smart and kind. Yeah. And a nice guy. We need to get their wives on. You know, you know, I'm like, I I, whenever there's a a husband dad, I'm like, I get it. We yeah. gotta we gotta hear to the counter. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, and remember, if you want to have your story on, you can. You can call us at four two four five seven zero kids. That's four two four five seven zero kids, or email us at I love my kid at wondery dot com. Make sure to start it with I love my kid, but and maybe we'll use it on air just like this one. I love my kid, but I don't love the toilet seat after my six year old uses the bathroom. The toilet seat, the bowl, floor. Everywhere will just have pee splatters. And I thought it was because his aim is terrible. But then yesterday, I walked in and found my son standing on the edge of the bathtub trying to (laughs) aim toward the toilet. (laughs) When I asked him what he's doing, he told me, oh, peeing's a lot more fun this way, Mom. (laughs) So to all the parents of little boys out there, good luck (sighs) and wishing you the very best Uh. team. Oh, that's she, such a nice wish yeah, for us. I know it's such a nice wish. <laughs> this Thank is gonna you. sound weird, but you gotta get this kid on YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> you, you know, like those trick shot accounts, like uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Where Dude it's perfect. all blurred, yeah, but it's perfect. like all blurred other than the urine. <laughs> yeah, so you drop the ping pong ball down the stairs, and it ends up in a solo cup across the street. You gotta get him set up. <laughs> it's entertaining. Just blur it out. I heard you potty train boys sitting down. Yes, you do. And Gus has just recently only started. At four, I think he just used his first urinal. Like, And okay. I'm always like, do you want to use this? Because it's easier for me when we go to the bathroom than having to go in, close yeah. the door, have him take his pants down, put him up on the thing and everything. All right, we got it, we got it. And, uh, <laughs> <laughs> and uh, he did it. And I was like very proud of him. I do have to admit, like... I love being a woman. It's I wouldn't trade it for the world. I am so deeply jealous yeah. of the fact that you guys compete anywhere. Yeah. It's like so, it just seems so cool and awesome. <laughs> Olive feels the same way. Okay. And I told her about, there's this thing you can get, you know, where it's yeah. like the thing. Yeah. I don't know what it's called. Um, but you can pee standing up as a woman. Yeah. And I told Olive about it and she's like, Christmas. <laughs> I, like, I, don't Santa. Think, I don't think they make it for little kids, yeah. honey. <laughs> the elves can make anything. <laughs> so funny. Well, I'm Kurt Brownler. I'm Chris Garcia. And I'm Megan Gailey. And remember, your kid will eventually resent you no matter what you do. <laughs> <laughs>